today 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 ladies and gentlemen today 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 dang should i should i keep it off because like you can see the diamonds more on my jacket or should i keep it on all right i'm gonna keep it on today we're gonna be reacting to a video all right now this video is by someone that this video is by a, a channel or by someone that we've reacted to in the past right this channel is a really good channel i would say he would be he's like the next alex the next cube inc that that type of channel right so who i'm talking about is a guy named skate by the way and we are going to be reacting to the story of roblox's youngest millionaire this was three weeks ago you know i gotta i gotta drop a like the thing is anytime i watch oh wait he he, he linked alex's channel all right. all right anyways the thing is anytime i watch their videos i typically love to react to it because i genuinely think that skate by the way um alex and cube inc are some of the like i i think they're one of the greatest like roblox storytellers and editors you know what i'm saying like they they could portray the story shut up and let's watch this video <laughs> also also um yeah uh if you're new here if you're new here and you don't know me basically i am a guy that gives away robux trolls people um uh, and make videos daily so if you're new here subscribe leave a like and subscribe also if we hit 5,000 like you know what um i think what i'll do i'll give someone robux let's get it a name that has undoubtedly become one of the most recognizable figures in the roblox community virtually bro it's crazy because you could look at these characters and know who they are. Like, comment down below. Who 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 are these people? This is uh uh oh dang. Hold on. B building to games, building to games. Uh, Preston, and this is Link One Nine Nine. Overnight, famously known for his unique game concepts and giving away millions of dollars in Robux, this prodigy has shown just how quickly one can rise up the ranks to become one of the wealthiest and most respected developers on the entire platform, all at only 16 years old. Bro, realistically, realistically, how much Robux y'all think Hasm got? Like, like, how much Robux y'all think he, he got, like, just sitting on his account? See, me personally... I don't know how much he has, but I, I have a pretty strong guess as to how much he has, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know how much comment down below. How much y'all think he has him makes no has him has. This is the story of Hasm, Roblox's youngest millionaire. Like many other promising developers, Hasm got his start on Roblox extremely early, releasing his first game at the age of only 13. Although I'm not sure if I should be calling him Hasm because this dude's username history has been through it. What's good? Okay, buddy. Bro, bro, I, I think, look, let's just be real. I think I have the second longest usernames on Roblox. Although I'm not sure if I should Hold be on. calling him Hasm because... This like, bro, that's chump change. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, I, look, I think I ha I'm i pretty sure I'm the second Roblox user with the most uh, usernames. Uh, I believe Tanker's ahead of me. No, 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 no. Or some other YouTube, some other person. Hold on, let me see Tanker. Because uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. I think I have more than Tanker, actually. Hold on, let me, let me see. He has... Bro, bro has zero friends on Roblox. Wait, I think I have more than him. Oh, dang. Hold up. Yeah, no, no, no. I got more than him. I got more than him. See, he only got a little bit of friend, like, names, right? Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Hold up. I think it's actually equal. Dang. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, mine goes to, like, this letter. My name changes goes to this letter. Basically, like, right under. His goes to... Let me see oh wait no 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 but i got more stuff i got more hold on hold on let me let me pull out the calculator real quick so if, if we go from like right here on down i would say my name changes are about hold on okay so it would be around 483 all right 483 all right let me let me see his Dang, I think he does got me beat, bruh. Oh, nah. I think he does got me... Nah, his joint password, his is five, not... He got me beat, bro. Dang. Okay, wait. So, I'm, I'm, I think I have the third most... Third usernames. I believe this girl right here. Her name is... um. She she made this game called Cat. And she has a ton of usernames. This girl. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's her that has the most usernames. Hold on. Let's just take a look at this. Bro, y'all see this? This 
Let's try go far. Bro, she got the most usernames. Nah, bro. What? Bro. She got the most usernames. She got me beat. No, bruh. I don't, I don't even... Bro, she got me beat, bro, with the most usernames. Dang, bro. I'm not... Dang. All right, let's just keep watching. This dude's username history has been through it. What's good, manly OP strongman 37? Anyways, Hazem would release his first game in 2019 called Hazem's Builds, and it goes to show just how early Hazem dove into Roblox development and building. And also, just a small side note, I want to give huge credit to Olix for these images and the original video idea, as a few of these games aren't directly on Hazem's profile, and I couldn't find them online, so shout out to him for that. The link. Yo, 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 shout out to Olix. Shout out to Olix for that, but... Bro, realistically, Alex don't even post. When was the last time Alex ever posted a video? When was the last time? Someone tell me, when was the last time? When was the last time he posted? Nearly a year ago. Nearly a year ago, he posted. Bro, I, I just, I need to see what the current comments are saying. YouTube commented. Hold on. No, no, no. Let me, let me. We can all agree that. Wait, we can all agree that Alex makes our day every time he up. He doesn't upload. Bro hasn't uploaded in a year. What happened to him? Where is Alex? I tried to find her. Okay, wait, wait. I don't know why he's not uploading. Where's Alex? Uh, 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 Oliver, your videos are good. What the heck? Dude, 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 dude. You know what? Sh should, I, sh should I hit up Alex and tell him to upload? He most likely won't even care, honestly. Link to his channel will be in the description. As for his activity between 2019 and 2021, it seems as though Hazem didn't really do anything substantial on Roblox in terms of creating games, but I'm sure he kept honing his scripting and building skills throughout this downtime. This brings us to 2021, the years I consider to be the foundation of Hazem's career. Releasing titles such as The Compliment Game, a game that quite literally just insults you every time you click, Music Maker, a fun, intuitive music tool where you can make your own beats by just clicking squares, and Two Truths and a Lie, a classic game reimagined on Roblox. Hazem was starting to become a unique thinker, approaching game development from a different angle than many other devs, which would be an invaluable tool for his eventual rise to fame. He further demonstrated this through the release of Disk in Roblox, a game where you could actually type within Roblox and it would send messages in a Discord server. Does that still work? I, I, I don't think that still works, does it still? That would actually be hard if that worked. This game would allow people to message within Discord without having to leave or tab out of Roblox. But unfortunately, a Discord API update stopped this project in its tracks before it had a chance to fully flourish. And speaking of Discord, you guys should definitely join mine in the description and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, throughout all these releases, Hazem hadn't had any major success, but this was about Dang. to change with his first viral hit, a game called Type Racer. Type Racer was a super fun game that allowed Roblox players to flex- Bro, I used to know life that game. Actually, I, I, okay, I didn't necessarily know life it, but I used to play it a lot. Before I even know, knew who Hazem really was, I used to play it a lot. ...their typing skills while racing their friends. When a few YouTubers began to make videos on the game, it would go on to be Hazem's first game to gain any sort of traction. Even with the success brought on by various content creators, Type Racer truly began to shine when Hazem released the game's Squid Game update. Week after week, Hazem would post another tweet thanking the players and showing off new player count milestones. After the Squid Game hype has largely died down, the game has plateaued as of late, but it still has over 10 million visits and continues to have a small but active player base. After a few more smaller releases is now good. February 7th, 2022. The day Hazem released the game that would change his life forever. He would announce it in a tweet stating, I made a stand game where you can have others tip and donate at your stand or donate to other stands. Please. Bro, like that's a hard idea. Like, like that's just crazy, bro. Cause I, I, I'm pretty sure it was actually really easy to do too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it, it, I, I feel like it was it was actually really easy to do, but that just goes to show you, like, you don't have to work harder, right? Because, like, there's developers that probably spent years on their game and stuff like that. Like, like you never know. Like, a lot of these developers be spending years to make a game. But, and like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he just figured out a smarter way to it, bro. Like, no glazing, but, like, like the, bro, realistically, right? There's developers that spend like two years, three years, five years, six years to make a game. And, you know, like they have hopes of like becoming millionaires off that and making like tons of Robux. But 
he just created a game with a stand and you could donate to people rich get rich like people get rich and then like he got like bro it's a w idea bro it's a w w move donate was an instant success in fact after only two days the game's player count skyrocketed to almost 1000 players virtually overnight and what's mind-blowing to me is that the game took off without any in-game advertising this was just completely organic please donate appealed That's to players wild. because it finally offered a solution other than clothing stand games where players could easily donate and receive robux not even two weeks after the game was released hasn't tweeted a shot image showing that please donate had been content deleted by roblox now, my thing is i was like I, i'm pretty sure they deleted it because roblox didn't have a way to make money from it you know what i'm saying like i, I if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure that's why like roblox had deleted it because they didn't have a way to make money from it the game that had shot up to over 10,000 concurrent players in a week was now unplayable. However, Hazm didn't let this discourage him, and to the community's relief, Please Donate was back later that day. Now, here's where things started to get absolutely crazy for Hazm. Bro, how much people have- how much people playing Please Donate right now, actually? Let me- let me just check. Bro, 35,000 people playing Please Donate. Bro, that's- bro, that's straight money. Oh my gosh, that's straight money. All right, all right, let's keep playing. Wait, wait, did I like the video? Oh yeah, I did. And you also liked the video. All right, let me keep going. Has a please donate was attracting the attention of dozens of massive YouTubers. And on February 25th, the largest Roblox YouTuber Flamingo released the first of many please donate videos on his channel. And please donate went ballistic. YouTubers like Dennis Daly, Creekcraft, Alvin Blocks, Project Supreme, and more all uploaded videos playing the game, each bringing their own massive audiences. So many people were joining that they- Bro, crazy thing is, bro, I, I don't even think my channel was popping at that time. Like, don't get me wrong, my channel's doing pretty- pretty good right now right but like if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure my channel was dead and it was me doing robux videos which actually made it pop off yeah like before bro like this is what i was posting right before i came in to please donate don't actually no nah, some of the videos were doing decent yeah no nah, no nah, some of the videos were doing decent but they weren't like consistent you know what i'm saying like look at all these like these were like the videos i was posting before please donate i think wait where is it at Okay, no. Okay, it started here. Wait, no. Did this? Dang, bro. It. Hold on. Okay, so the video right before I even started, please donate. Okay, this was please donate, right? This was please donate right here. And before I was doing. Okay, these numbers are actually pretty good. Like 400 times. Bro, but that video didn't even hit like that at first when I first dropped it. Like, I was doing Bed Wars videos. I was doing The Hood videos. All these other stuff. And then I jumped into please donate. And. Uh, I mean, okay. All right, let's just keep going. Let's just keep, let's just keep going. It actually ended up breaking the game, another issue which Hasm proceeded to promptly fix. It seemed like everyone was trying to get a chance at Robux riches, and Please Donate's player counts directly reflected that. The game went on to reach over 30 million visits in its first month, and after a few more Dang. small issues with Roblox, Hasm began to add the first of many donation effects, the nuke. This effect triggers when someone donates 100k or more Robux, and it was safe to say a new trend was in the making. YouTubers began nuking their viewers. Hasm began nuking YouTube. It was a massive circle. Such a small. Hold on. Who is this sexy person? I've never seen someone so sexy before in my life. Oh my gosh. Wait. What happened to that hoodie? Actually, that was. I had that. Bro, that's. Bro, I, I think I lost that Burberry hoodie. Hoodie actually. Nah. I remember. No. <laughs> Bro, I remember I had this Burberry hoodie and I lost it. Wait, this video was... I recorded this video like a few months ago. I had my blue CA at the time. What the heck? Because I remember taking a picture with, this, with the plaques on the ground. Wait, I have my domino... Wait, this video was like a few months ago. <laughs> what the heck? What type of mess? of donations that in the end resulted in hundreds of millions of people seeing Please Donate. And this was all leading up to what would be Hazm's biggest giveaway yet. But more on that later. People would AFK all day in hopes of receiving massive donations or even just to collect enough to allow them to buy their favorite UGC items. And all the while, Hazm was collecting 10% of every donation. Bro, pocket watching. But look, look, look. Hazm collecting 10% of every donation, right? Hold within on. his game. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So he was he was collecting 10% of every donation made into his game. All right, so let's just go ahead and look at it real quick. 
let's let, let's just go take a look real quick. I, like, I, I not you know what I'm saying, chat? Not pocket watching. I just want to see. I just want to see. I just want to see. Let me see. He was collecting ten percent of every donation in his game, right? Like every every donation, right? Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. He's collecting ten percent of all of these. All of these, <laughs> bro. Two people just donated a thousand. That's a free one hundred for him. On top of all, bro. Do y'all understand, right? Do y'all understand? Like when when Hasm like opens up his Roblox, right? Bro, bro just made four hundred Robux in two seconds. <laughs> Five hundred Robux in two seconds. Bro, y'all gotta understand, right? When Hasm opens up his Roblox, his Robux stuff right here, bro probably like every time he ref like he refreshes, it probably says like an extra ten thousand Robux for his pending. Like, bro, that's insane to me. Oh my gosh, that's insane. But let's just keep watching. Around a month or so later, the second of Hazem's famous donation effects was added to the game. Titled The Smite, it was essentially a massive rendition of the donator's avatar smashing down a giant hammer on every please donate. That's so fire. It's now July 22nd. Yo, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was Cube Cubefall that 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 made the effects. I don't want to I don't want to I'm pretty sure it was Cupiful, Cupiful that made the effects, like the donation effects of it. Uh, if it was, hold on, bro, because I don't think they get enough credit for that. Because they, they, bro, like doing that stuff, I know is not that easy. You know, hold on, hold on. I, I, I'll be able to tell who was the one that did it because it'll show it like right on the thingy or whatever. Hold on. Candles, candles. No, my bad. Candles. Candles doesn't get enough credit, bro. Cause candles did do a bro. Yeah, it was candles. My bad. My bad. Yeah, candles. Candles, bro. Candles is crazy, bro. Let me wait. 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 Hold on. Wait, wait. How much Robux? I donated the most Robux this week. Dang, I'm hitting for real, bro. I'm I'm doing me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. His donate has made Hazem hundreds of millions of Robux. Dude is likely the richest dev on the platform, and a tweet popped up from his alt account stating as follows: I make games, and I've kept it a secret from my parents for years now, and I want to tell them, but I'm really nervous. Shout out to Hazem for actually telling his parents. But I don't I don't think he's the richest dev on the on the platform actually, because. The only reason why I say that, right, is because if you actually go down on Discover on your Roblox stuff, if you go down on Discover stuff, and then you look at, uh, there, there should be a feature where it says, like, most spent, like, most earning, yeah, top earning. Bro, this is crazy to me. Hazem is the second richest dev on the platform, basically. Like, with only 35, <laughs> bro, that's so insane. Bro, bro, look, Blocks Roots. This is the number one richest dev. Number one richest dev. So, so Hazem's a second. This guy, I don't, bro, like, this is wild to me. Like, that, that just goes to show these two found the robust glitch. Because if you look at it, the majority of these top earning devs have, like, hundreds of thousands, th hundreds of thousands of people playing their game, right? But these, these two only have 30k people. That means they found a glitch, because how is it that you have a little bit of, like, only 30k people, like, playing it, but you're the top three earning. So that means if they had 100,000 people playing their game, they, oh my gosh, bro. That's insane to me. Like, I don't think y'all understand, like, that. that's an insane amount of Robux that they're earning consistently. Like, bro, kudos. Oh, my game got 100 people playing it, though. Big dog status. 100. Ooh. All right, all right, let's keep watching, let's keep watching, let's keep watching. What should I do? This essentially confirmed that Hazem, an individual with millions of dollars worth of Robux, hadn't told his parents. I mean, I get it. Trying to explain the small amount in comparison I've made off YouTube to my parents was a struggle, so I can't imagine having to explain how millions of dollars essentially came out of thin air. Overall, the community was extremely supportive, and everyone backed him up, reassuring him that if he told his parents, things would work out in the end. Now, here's where the story everyone has heard typically ends. Most people, when receiving this sort of success, would grow complacent 
recent. Whether they stop updating their games or just get plain lazy, Hazm was exactly the opposite. This guy has to be one of the most innovative minds Roblox has ever seen, and he has quite literally reinvented the wheel several times. Hazm continued to do things people had never seen on Roblox before, including buying an entire billboard in Times Square, the advertising capital of the world. Hazm tweeted out a few days prior that the most liked tweets would end up on the billboard, and he came through on his promise. On February 18th, the advertisement went live and Twitter went crazy as the billboard ran for the next 48 hours periodically. The third and final please donate effect added so far was brought on April 2nd, 2023. Hazm gave away- t Wait, what? Kirby? I thought it was candles. Wait, wh who was it? I'm so confused, bro. Who? Kirby? Oh my gosh, just shout out. Bro, I- Bro, the whole- the whole- the whole- Quantum Quantum team deserves credit, bro. But on April 2nd, 2023, Hazm gave away 10 million Robux in his Discord in an effort to bring hype to the new effect, and it did not disappoint. Over 30,000 people entered Hazm's giveaway, myself included, all looking for a chance at that sweet 10 million Robux prize. The eventual winner, a guy named Lean, was drawn but did not respond fast enough, so the giveaway- Dude, no, no, think about it. This is actually crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's actually crazy because Hazm did host it. Bro, let me tell y'all something, right? Let me let me just talk to y'all. Hazm hosted a 10 mil uh 10 mil Robux giveaway, right? One person won and he didn't answer. And then another person won named Moo. And then he ended up trying to sell his account. I didn't even enter the giveaway because I didn't even know about the giveaway. And Oh my gosh, bro. This is insane. Way was re-rolled and the infamous individual titled Moot won. I say infamous because not even a day after receiving his prize, Moot said in a message on April 3rd, and I quote, DevX will give me a payout of 25.5k, but that's not that much, so I'm thinking of selling it on eBay for 10k. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's more than 25k too, bro. <laughs> bro was tweaking. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> bro, it wasn't 25k, but it was 30k. Bro is tripping. It, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, thirty-five thousand dollars. Bro is tripping. Imagine being handed over $25,000 and saying that's just not enough. Moot was subsequently banned from the Discord and Roblox Dang. developer relations ended up moderating the shirt Hasm purchased, which Dang. resulted in Moot getting zero Robux Dang. and Hasm being refunded. Dang. It just goes to show how people let greed get the better of them. Like if that's me, I'm taking the 25 And you know what's crazy? I even made a video I even made a video on that the day it happened. I even made Man, a video on that the day it happened. I think my boy Moot needs to learn a little lesson in gratitude. It was in April 2023 that Roblox released one of the most controversial policy updates ever, now no longer allowing gift cards to be redeemable between various countries. This was especially damaging for YouTubers who live in a different country than their main audience. Where other people saw problems, Hazm saw an opportunity and immediately came up with a solution. Hazm.gg. Hazm.gg is a website where you can enter in codes given out through various giveaways or puzzles. Bro is so smart, bro. Exchange for Robux. You enter your username and the code into the site, and then Hazm's alt account with millions of Roblox automatically searches up your account and buys the respective game passes. This was revolutionary as it offered a unique solution for developers and content creators alike. It also triggered what I would consider to be the next big wave of please donate going viral on Twitter. Hazm created codes for tons of massive content. Bro, bro, why you put me on here, bro? Come on now. Creators and began handed them out. It created a sort of scavenger hunt feel for players as any tweet could be a sort of cryptic message unlocking a code that would give thousands of Robux. I myself am guilty for trying more than a few, but who can blame me when the Robux situation is looking like this right now? This renewed interest in Please Donate as a whole and directly contributed to the game averaging over 25,000 concurrent users to this day. Hazm's creative ideas are still evident now as just this past week he uploaded a game titled Dice. In Dice you can roll a dice and receive a code for 20 Robux times the amount you rolled. Not so bad for clicking a single button. To conclude, I think it's fairly easy to see just how much of an impact Hazm has had in the community in only two years. While Hazm has a w. fair share of criticism, with many people suggesting he only donates to big names, I think this is an absolutely ignorant opinion, as that Hazm is. does streams every few that months. Is, that, bro, it literally is an ignorant opinion, bro. Like, I don't know why so much people think Hazm only donates to rich people. 
like don't get me wrong like yes i'm extremely grateful that has them donated to me but you guys got to understand the people that has them donates to are typically people that give back into his game you know what i'm saying like I, no one understands that like like literally like when has them donated to me i instantly started donating back to other people like i was new i knew bro i nuked two full servers I literally nuked two full servers that same day I got I got like that huge gift from Hazm. And people don't understand that like donates hundreds of thousands of Robux to dozens of random people. He's earned the respect of dozens of creators, developers and players alike and I hope he has a long and prosperous career ahead of him. You've got to remember this entire Robux empire came all at the hands of a 16 year old kid and I have huge respect for how Hazm has navigated all this fame so far. Now with w. that being said, this is the story of Roblox's youngest millionaire. W. I, is, he, is he the youngest millionaire? Ro I th actually, I think he is. I think he is. Bro probably makes like millions a month too, bro. Like, yeah, he's the youngest millionaire. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Subscribe to Skate, by the way. He's almost at 30k subs. Subscribe to him.